I have a few beards across baseball that I'll show you, and then you just give your take. Danny Espinosa, what do you think about uh, his that's, look? That's definitely uh, a classic look, and, and uh, he, mean, he means business. That's also very, very uh, manly, man. That's, that's, that's a manly. Now, is that intimidating as a pitcher when you see anybody who kind of looks like that kind of, like how they probably feel about you? Probably this, they feel the same way about me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I'm a professional. I try to do my job, and I can't let that other people's facial, <laughs> facial hair affect my, my work. You look a lot different with and without your beard, too. I do. It's kind of like you're unrecognizable without it, right? Yeah. Or yeah. with it. Well, I didn't grow this out for notoriety or anything, so it, it's kind of weird getting getting recognized just because of my beard. Mm -hmm. um, if I could prefer it, I would not have the beard. Mm -hmm. It's just I grew it last year, and I was like, you know what the heck, I had a good season. Might as well just keep growing it. With the start at the All-Star game and everything like that, are you going to just continue that, uh, that streak, you think? or? I think so. I, I, I was willing to cut it off for some charity, um, but at the same time, it's got to be the right charity and I got to be at the right moment for it. Um, but it, it's eventually going to come off. It's not like it's there for, for good. <laughs> Speaking of hot streaks, the Yankees earlier in the season when they were in a hot streak, they grew out some mustaches. Brendan Ryan, this one looked pretty good. He definitely gets some good looks going and that mustache is, is no different. I know the, the team policy is only mustache, on, is mustache only and and I respect that. Uh, and that's a very respectable mustache. That's a very 80s, very <laughs> 80s look right there. They said he looks like W.B. Mason. <laughs> I, yeah, I can, I can agree with that one. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good one. I like that. How about uh, Jason Mott? He's always had a good one, even with, uh, even with the Cardinals. He kind of started it with, with Wilson back when, when beards started being popular. Classic look. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned Brian Wilson. How about this look? You pulled this off at one point. Yeah, the beard pony. <laughs> Definitely. That's that's a lot longer than mine. That's probably about two years worth. I got about six months left for that one. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it's a gigantic beard. It's kind of tough to pull off. It's healthy. It is tough to pull off. He pulled it off well, and uh, it's it's a very healthy beard. Pedro Alvarez. This dude's got a good one going on this year. Yeah, he never he never really had that at, at Vanderbilt when I played against him uh, when I was in Arkansas, but. Um, it's it's finely tuned. It really is. If you get a good barber, uh, you can they'll, they'll make it look really good. How are your drawing skills? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I pretty think, good. Yeah. Have you ever drawn a caricature of yourself? I have not. <laughs> Would you like to give it a shot? Uh, might as well. <laughs> Here you go. Let's see what you got. What was the major back in college? Uh, it was a, a apparel design actually, for, like athletic wear and and. Uh, yeah. Cool. Make yourself a nice yeah. shirt then, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's probably a little bit epic design. beard, you know? There That's you just go. all you need to see. No eyes? No, no eyes. It's just all about this, the silhouette. We'll hang it up. We'll put it in a frame later. <laughs>